Oh guys, so it seems uh, we can actually do this. I just uh, went out and grinded one more level, so everybody's at level 10 right now. Uh, so we're still Monk, Warrior, Black Mage, White Mage. Let's try this again. The one thing I missed last time is that I could throw Battle Item that I, I have uh, collected a couple, haven't I? Monk and Warrior are just gonna be Potion Bots. I just gotta keep everybody healed up if we can. Yeah, uh, what, three Antarctic wins and one Zeus's Wrath? Probably need all of them. Decent amount of damage. Out of arrows, eh? I think the white mage seems to have less magic effectiveness than the black mage, so maybe we should just have the black mage throw stuff. But I don't really want to extend this battle one more turn, so I'll we'll just make do. Come on, finish him off. Seriously? Do I have anything else? Not really. I practiced this a couple of times and it seemed to work. So he must be really, really close. There we go. Alright, so it's definitely doable with uh, two mages. Alright, got the Nepto Eye. I just get out of here. And I believe this is the only place in the entire game where you're forced to fight a boss where, while you are uh, mini on toad. Can't really remember off the top of my head, but I guess we'll find out. I'm just glad that so far I uh, haven't really needed to make an exception. So just with this party configuration and without uh, too much grinding, I was able to accomplish this. Just need to make sure we got those battle items stocked up from earlier in the game. I was actually planning to use it uh, during the fire fight. It's fine, I guess. Alright, we've got the Fang of Water, which will come into play much, much later in the game. Hopefully, inventory is not tight in this version. Uh, do I have spell charges? I doubt I have spell charges to recover from many. Doesn't matter, we'll just quickly go up and heal. Good, no encounters. Not that the uh, encounters over there are too difficult. God damn it. Okay, maybe I should stock up on supplies right now. Uh, wait, I have 15 golden needles? Since when? Maiden skills? Uh, will I need maiden skills? I don't think this, there are enemies which will inflict uh, frog. There are enemies which will inflict uh, silence. I'm wondering. Got potions, I've got antidotes, eye drops. Golden eagles don't need maiden skills for now. I have only 1500 bucks. So we still need to be. I 
I still need to be conservative with magic. Oh no, this is a black mage. So I just taught them all these spells just in case uh, I was going to go with the four black mage strategy. Alright. Uh, what the hell is over here? I forget. What about the white mage? Oh, it doesn't have too many useful spells. I guess to compensate for that, uh, White Mage can use stars. That's infinite use items. Although how potent are stars? Not too sure about that. Oh man, I need to upgrade uh, my equipment. Okay, they're not doing too much damage. Yeah, look at the difference between Ingus's fire and Raphia's fire. Oh, they're in the back row, of course. So we're still at level 10. He's got an attack of 40. It's got an attack of 47. Okay, I guess I already have optimal stuff uh, equipped. Alright, let's move on. First place we can visit is this town of... Tokul? Is it? Tokul. Get some free stuff here. If I can find it. Bacchus' cider? Okay. High potion? Wait, we get high potions in this game? Oh, of course we do. Lamia scale. Uh, what does it do? Confusion. Okay, increase attack speed. I think it just increases your multiplier. Ice stuff is useful. Might as well have it equipped. Is that all? What the hell was that? Sansetsu Kon! Sansetsu... What? Three section staff. Okay, it looks like a monk weapon. Let's give it a try. Attack increase to 53. Oh my god. Kempo Gi. Kempo Gi. So we get monk stuff here. I think I've looted this place already. 202 fire fire. Alright. Let's get out of here. That's all I uh, need this place for for now. Uh, we could visit the ancient village. Let's just check it out. Let's just check out what, what is available. Alright. Monk is one shotting stuff. A uh, bit worried about the night damage. At least they're not uh, taking hits. I need, I need to check if uh, these guys have job commands. Attack items. No, they literally don't have job commands? Interesting. Try the ice off. Oh, still doing shite damage.
Heavenly Wrath. Oh, wow. These guys uh, draw battle items. Got to keep that in mind. I assume that would only be a rare drop. Not at all happy with uh, the knight's damage output here. A uh, warrior, rather. Knight is a different job class. So gotta be specific about that. Don't think this place has an inn. Nice music, though. What? Wait, I thought there was an item here. Apparently not. There we go. Serpent Sword. Okay, let's see what kind of damage uh, he can do with dual Serpent Swords. Yeah, you can buy a lot of good stuff here, but it's quite expensive. Mage Rope, Shell Armor, Kempo Key. I'm gonna save up cash. So nothing for now. Maybe right before I uh, face the boss of fire. Sight Cure or Teleport. Look at how expensive this is. Teleport, Blind Dart. Teleport, not useful right now. And we got the level 3 spells. For which I only have one spell charge. Blind Nah. Removes blindness. No, I'd rather just use items. These guys have so little spell charges that it's not really worth it to use out of battle. Shit, do you not have a healing? Do these guys not have an inn? Let's check out the weapon shop. White Slayer, not interest, Serpent Sword, and we can get all of this stuff. Killer Bow, okay, the Black Mage cannot use it, so... Black Mage can only use up to the Great Bow and the basic arrows. All of these are reserved for the Ranger. Alright then. Have I looted this place? Literally had nothing? Okay. Don't really have the cash to splurge right now. I'll I'll return here later. Might as well use cure uh, for these purposes. The, the white mage's level 1 spell charges are uh, kind of useless. Alright, uh, might as well take a chocobo. I won't grind until uh, I'm really forced to. So far, even though the damage is not looking spectacular, I'm able to hang in there. There's gonna be boss fights coming up. Oh, look at look at that thing just flying off. All right, next place I want to visit is the Gorgon Valley, whatever it's called in this version. Holy shit, monk! I guess still an absolute powerhouse right now, but yeah, the knight will have bonus damage against sea creatures. Silence what? Wow, these guys are dropping pretty frequently. Or maybe I'm just getting extremely lucky. Argus Castle. I wonder if these knockers are resistant to thunder. It, it, it's why they are taking so less damage from arc. I mean, not a big deal right now. Monk is pretty much handling everything. Gulgan Gulch. Okay, okay. That's what it's called. I was uh, referencing the NES version. 
We're gonna say. Take the spell and use it until the tower is open. Your destiny awaits you, of course. And we can get some free shit here as well. Ice rod? Mage rope? And a fire rod. Uh, who are the rods for? Okay! But can we use them to cast spells? Uh, I'll give the mage rope to this guy. I feel like the white mage actually has more defense, or does he? No, he doesn't. Okay. Whatever, I need the black mage more than the white mage, I feel like. And what else did we get? Okay, we got two rods and a mage rope. Very useful. Mage robes were like 2,000 bucks. So, good thing I got one for free. And I think I've looted this place. Yep. There's just so many hidden items that I uh, always want to be sure. And that's a very helpful feature in the Pixel Remaster. Oh, come on! Oh, god damn, the white mage is not taking plenty of damage. Okay, uh, I think after this, we just need to visit the Tower of Owen next. So before that, I would like to heal up. They suddenly knight doing, a uh, warrior doing decent damage, so I think they do have resistance. And it seems like uh, in this game, uh, elemental resistance apply even to physical attacks. I feel like that was already a thing. I need to verify that in the NES version. And they are going after the white mage. Alright, another level up. Always gonna help. Where the hell am I going? Oh no, I hope he doesn't die. So you should still have spell charges. Ooh, that cure spell potency is pretty nice. Oops. God damn it. Need more precision. I remember these guys hurting a lot more than this, so looks like they've been nerfed from the NES. Everything has been nerfed compared to the NES version. I really should save up the Black Major's spell charges. We're gonna need them in the Tower of Owen. And yeah, the Tower of Owen. Do we not have access to Eco Herbs? What am I gonna do? Uh, there's monsters there that can inflict silence. So where the hell can I buy eco herbs? Maybe I could have bought them in the ancients village and I just didn't notice it. Didn't really find an item shop, did I? At the very least, I need two. I mean, well, I literally have none. Well, let's just risk it, I guess. So Black Mage is gonna be use useless until we reach the boss fight. We just do not have spell charges to waste.
that's Argus Castle. We are heading to the Tower of Owen next. Seriously considering grinding up some cash to buy my mages everything, but I think the Tower of Owen is pretty lenient. There it is. <laughs> the, the sound those rods make. Gonna need to waste a couple spell charges just to toad and on toad. Where's Toad? Oh, right. Well, thankfully we can untoad here. Something that I did know on my first playthrough. Let's find out how bad these things are. Can we use the fire and the ice rods? Nope, it just boosts the power of flame. Oh well. Ow! 50 damage! Oh boy, this place is gonna hurt. Holy shit! Even Raphael is doing that much damage with the physical attacks. Don't really mind using those up. Oh, thank God that missed. Don't really need my mage is silenced. These guys don't have a lot of HP, thankfully. Maiden's Kiss. Pretty sure nothing can uh, toad us right now, but I guess uh, we ourselves can. So that's what all the Maiden Kisses are for. Crap! This, this is what I was afraid of. Okay, looks like uh, Ingus can still use uh, items. Interesting. Sure thing that's red mage exclusive. I forgot to heal him up. He's going to tell us about the secret button or something. Pixel Remaster makes it very obvious. So we are going to be without any healing when we come to the boss. Healing from the White Mage at least. And I seriously doubt uh, using fire staff is going to make any impact whatsoever. Okay, Echo Herbs. So I got one. I'll save that for right before the boss. Just in case she, uh, these, these guys use silence again. I don't really mind uh, the physical attackers getting silence. Who cares? More eco herbs. 
very nice. So in case my black mage gets for silence as well. Damage from the physical attack is looking very good now. At least uh, for this part of the game. This is a flame sword? Salaman sword, whatever. As long as we can one shot these guys. I'm surprised that even Refia is doing that much damage. I wonder what the formula for uh, rods is. Flame mail? Right, lots of flame stuff here. Zeus's Wrath, okay. I guess the White Mage can use that. When she runs out of, uh, he runs out of arrow. I like the Salaman Sword animation. Good, another level up. Okay, here we go! Thankfully, got plenty of potions. Uh, should be fine. All right. Let's just go all out. I wonder if she has any elemental weaknesses. I've only got two charges, so I think I'll use Sundara and Blizzara. And you... Don't a preemptively heal up. Nah, I don't think so. Let's see how it goes. This one can petrify, but we do have some golden needles. 72 damage, okay, that is, that is entirely acceptable. Physical attack, 44 damage. Okay, looks like it's gonna be a relatively simple fight. Wonder when she's going to... Uh... Oh, wow, that was a lot of damage from Blizzard. Wonder when she's going to petrify us, or attempt to petrify us. We're out of those spell charges. What about Thunder? Well, looking pretty good so far. The Zara actually missed. That's very lucky. Physical attackers are doing garbage damage now. What the hell is wrong with the Mock? Don't tell me she's got evasion. Okay, out of arrow charges. Stop throwing items, I guess. Do I even have? Bomb fragment? Fire damage, Lamia skill, lightning damage. Might as well use them all. Nice crit. Oh wow, that is all right. I don't mind using up uh, Battleism at all. Now we're gonna have to watch Dash Wine for a solid minute. Good riddance. Until end game, I guess. Right, hopefully we're gonna be teleported out. That's a nice touch. The, even the NES version forced you to just stand and listen to this music. All right, that wasn't half bad. 
I don't care about them being silenced. Health-wise, we're looking pretty good. Okay, so Medusa was pretty standard, straightforward, I guess. And now with that done, uh, we should be able to visit uh, visit Argus Castle and loot all all the stuff over here. Lots of goodies here. Twenty-one chests and two items. Oh wait! Before we get, we, before we come here, we need to get some magic keys. Yeah, I just remembered. A lot of the treasure is hidden behind locked doors. I wonder how much effect uh, job levels played in the victory over Medusa. Should switch back to double serpent swords. Monk and a uh, warrior can one shot these guys. Don't die, monk! On top of the shopping list is one Magus robe or my white mage because uh, he's taking way too much damage. Alright, what village is that where you can buy magic keys? God damn it, monk! Why is uh, his damage so random? Well, this is Final Fantasy 3, so I guess uh, it entirely depends on rolls. We don't have the best accuracy and uh, in, order f in order for some guaranteed damage, we need to get much higher drop levels. Build those multipliers. There it is. This is the village of... Gisal for the famous Gisal Green. What's available here? Toad Mini Libra Confused Silence. Inflict Silence. Okay, Break and Blizzaga. Shade. God damn, I already have level 4 black magic. Not interested. I doubt I even have those spell charges for that. Nope. Oh, it's up here. Any items? Don't think uh, we can loot this place. Chests 1 and items 5, really? This must be the verification. Yeah. Magic key, there we go. I'll buy uh, 10 of them. We'll get a couple more for free. We'll find a couple more. This is gonna scream at us. <laughs> Stay out of the carrot field! He's strapsizing through it though. Geese all green. Okay, not carrots. Geese all green. Uh, have I got all the items? Wait, there are more? Where? Maybe just a bunch of geese all grains, yeah. Okay, I've got all the items. Apparently there's a chest somewhere. I don't remember how to get that one. 
Don't tell me it's this chest is what he's talking about. You can go and say hi to the chocobos. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what chest they're talking about. Because uh, the one in the item shop, I'm pretty sure is not accessible. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't, I don't see any hidden pathways. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was accessible after all. Sure again. Sadly, not useful for my jobs. But I think we can sell it for a substantial amount of money. Can we sell it to someone? Let me just check it out. Uh, what's up here? Alright, oh, item shop. Uh, you can buy some grease oil grains. That's just for the fat chocobo. Hopefully I will not run it. Look at that! Yeah, I'm just gonna sell it. Alright. I got 41,000 bucks. I've got more than enough money to buy whatever I need. So, before the next dungeon, I will outfit everyone. So, what we're going to do next time is head to uh, Argus Castle. Steal all of its stuff. And then uh, make our way to the Ancient's Village. Outfit everyone. And then uh, we'll proceed onwards to the... What is that? Dwarf Cave or something. Later, guys.